Hello everybody. The town of Grindavík, which is the closest to the activity, was evacuated last night, after data showed the magma to be right under the town. The magma intrusion on the Reykjanes Peninsula advances fast and is getting really close to the surface, but data that is more than 12 hours old suggests that magma was at 800 meters back then, so now, 12 hours later, it's even closer. The size of this intrusion is many times larger than anything we've seen on the peninsula in the ongoing volcanic period, and could be compared to the massive eruption of Holohraun back in 2015 from the Bárðarbunga system. Events have been unfolding in a way that indicates that we might be getting a really bad scenario. Let's check out the details. Beginning with the evacuations. Yesterday, activity on the Reykjanes Peninsula shot up to levels we haven't seen, not just in the past three eruptions, but in all of Iceland since the Holohraun eruption. As the evening progressed, the ground deformation got more intense, and in around three hours, from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. on November 10th, ground spread a whopping 120 centimeters to east and west. This insane amount of ground deformation was caused by the formation of a large magma dike that was starting to expand at depths of around 1.5 to 3 kilometers. At first, it seemed to be defined in an area northeast of Grindavík, as shown on this map. Then, as time passed, it expanded and around 11 p.m. on November 10th, our experts, along with the Department of Civil Defense, made the decision to evacuate Grindavík, as the magma dike had reached under the town. The evacuations went smoothly, and everyone was out of the town in just around three hours. Since then, the magma dike has continued to expand to the north and south, but it has reached all the way under the ocean on the south end, and under the northern slopes of Fagradalsfjall in the north end. That makes this dike somewhere around 14 kilometers long, which is absolutely mind-blowing, much larger than dikes in previous intrusions. The latest depth estimates were based off more than 12-hour-old data, and they showed that magma was at depths of around 800 meters at the shallowest points. So by now, the magma has definitely gotten closer, but experts think that following the insane power of the earthquakes last night, ground in the area is really weak, allowing the magma to advance much more easily upwards. So easily, as a matter of fact, that we're not going to be able to detect the magma with our equipment as it gets closer to the surface, as it's not creating any pressure. As I mentioned in the beginning, this magma intrusion is by far the largest we've had on the peninsula in the ongoing volcanic period. The current really rough estimate of the size of the dike intrusion, based on the fact that it's 14 kilometers long, 120 centimeters wide, and 5 kilometers deep, puts it at around 80 to 90 million cubic meters, which is more than in the past three eruptions combined. As of the making of this video, the way the events are unfolding, an eruption could occur on a fissure as long as 7 kilometers, based on historic data. The fissure could surface anywhere on the dike that has formed, but the recent data doesn't rule out the possibility that it could open in the town of Grindavík, or in the ocean. But that would be an absolute disaster. Hopefully, it'll surface in the north end of the dike, where we have a much higher chance of being able to save all important infrastructure. But what is the most likely eruption site? Currently, it's pretty much guaranteed that an eruption will occur, as the pace of the magma towards the surface is pretty constant and fast. As mentioned, recent data doesn't rule out an eruption site in the town of Grindavík, or even under the ocean, which would result in an explosive search an eruption. I think it's more likely an eruption will surface in the more favorable area though, as that's where the most ground deformation has been detected. How long is it until the eruption starts? In my last video, I thought we would have to wait a week before an eruption, but the way things have evolved in the past 24 hours, we could actually be looking at hours instead of days. But as always with geology, it's hard to say. 
But at the current rate, an eruption tomorrow doesn't seem unlikely. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed. Hope to see most of you in the next video. And thanks for watching.